Once a project has been established, we are ready to connect. To set up an Ethernet connection, we will first establish a physical Ethernet link between the CPU and our programming computer. Due to the configurable nature of Ethernet networks and the various potential failure points, we strongly recommend using an Ethernet cable directly between the CPU and the programming computer for the initial configuration and connection. The default IP address of the XEM CPU is 192.168.250.120. And the default subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. To allow our programming computer to connect for the first time with the CPU, we will set the computer to an IP address of 192.168.250.10 and a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. Once we have set these settings in our PC, we are ready to configure the connection in the XG5000 software using the Connection Settings screen. If we attempt to upload a project from an already programmed CPU, we will automatically be taken to this Connection Settings screen to establish the connection. If we have created a new project or opened an existing project offline, we will have to navigate to the Connection Settings screen. We will click on the icon of a plug with a gear or go to Online Connection Settings. This will open the connection settings pop-up window. We have two options for connecting via Ethernet. We can use the network browsing option, or we can manually input the settings. If we use the network browsing option, we will select the network browsing radio button. The software will automatically take us to the network browsing pop-up screen. We can twirl down on our Ethernet connection and then select our PLC from the listed options. This will automatically populate the IP information for that PLC. We select OK to return to the connection settings screen. If we use the manual settings option, we select the connection type from the type dropdown. We will select Ethernet for this. For a connection using the Ethernet port on the CPU, we will leave the depth at remote 1. We can then select settings to set up or verify the IP address we will be using for the connection. Here again we have two options. We can scan for any IP address that has an LS CPU and then use that, or we can manually enter the IP address for our processor. Using the manual option, we will input the default IP address of 192.168.250.120. If you are going to upload a project from the CPU, the project may have a different assigned IP address from the default. If you know what IP address was assigned in the project, enter the IP address. If you are not sure about the IP address assigned, use the USB connection initially. Leave the port setting alone, as this will work for our application. You can then select OK. Now that we have configured the connection, we will select OK on the connection settings screen if we are not ready to connect yet, or connect if we want to establish the connection at this point. If we select OK, we can easily initiate the connection when we're ready by clicking the plug icon or going to Online Connect.